<clears throat> Today, I'll tell you the story of the Lost Book of Prophecies. This prophetic book was mis mysterious tome filled full of stories of future events. Of course, many people craved this book, wishing to glimpse to their futures. But no person after obtaining this amazing book ever found happiness. The reason? The book held frightful secrets not meant for people's eyes. The book came to be called The Dark Prognosticus and was sealed away. This is the tale of that forgotten book's last owner. It is a tale of love. Uh, uh, what happened to me? What is this place? <laughs> oh, you're awake, princess. Hmm? Oh, is that Princess Peach? Bowser! <laughs> Oh hell, nice do you rule nice you rule Oh hell oh, hell oh, hell Hi Peach Nice dude What's going on here? Count Yeah um okay so preparations are complete mm. Then it shall begin by Count Black mm. Bowser, ferocious and fearsome evil king of the Koopas. Do you take Peach to be your lawfully wedded wife till your games be over? Oh, oh, oh Mary Peach? Why, Mary Peach? You kidding? The answer is yes! Peach, noble princess, pure of heart. Do you take Bowser to be your lawfully wedded husband till your games be over? Now wait just a second! You have to explain to me what is going on! Right now! <laughs> is it not obvious? It's you, this is your wedding, Peach! Oh. But why in the world am I marrying Bowser? <laughs> hey, no question this side of the altar, black old boy! I don't get the details, but the count here has gone to a lot of trouble planning this. Just relax, we'll get married, we'll be in love, we'll be awesome, finally! No! And who picked this dress out? It's awful! Take me back to my castle immediately! Yeah, um, being rude to the esteemed count is sort of frowned on, okay? So, yeah, Princess Peach, I'm gonna need you to answer the count now. Do you, Peach, take Bowser to be your wedded husband till your games be over? You sure are a fighter. But yeah, no one withstands my super hypnosis. Sorry. I do. Say no. Okay. I, I do. Whoa. What in the world? What am I doing here? Is that Princess Peach over there? This that guy is Hey! <laughs> Black Yes, all precisely written in the dark prognostic. Already it is unleashed. The Chaos Heart! Oh yeah, um, congratulations, Count. Heart! And just who are you? Asked Count Blank. Oh no, I didn't give my name to Scoundrel. I don't give my name to Scoundrels. Just watch as Luigi punished you for your badness. Here I go! Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop right this second, okay? If you interrupt us now. 
Here's where Luigi rescues Princess Peach. Earn you only pain from Count Black. Very well. As the Chaos Heart is secured, this ragtag group now lacks use. So, um, yeah. Count, this means you may turn a new page of the Dark Prophecies. Open your mouth, darkness. Consume everything and destroy all worlds as told in the prophecy. Black. TJ here. I'm signing on to Super Paper Mario. So, yeah. This is uh, kind of different from the usual Paper Marios, whereas those are turn based RPGs. This one's more of a. more of a platformer action thing. Let's get to it! Wow, Zuri is peaceful today, eh, bro? Makes a guy feel lucky having a peaceful day. Yep, real peaceful. It's so peaceful, it's almost a little boring. It makes you just want to kablooey, you know? Some kind of shocking event. Oh, at Princess Peach's place, maybe. That'd be cool, huh, bro? Maybe we should go visit Mushroom Castle. It's been a while. I'm sure the princess would be happy to see us. Toad. Toad? What? What happened? Why are you so crazy? It's Shaggy! Bastion Castle! Raided! Princess Peach! Stolen! The usual, basically. What? Why, that's ridiculous. Who in the world would do such a thing? I don't know, maybe the guy that's been doing it for years? Are we? Wait a second. Yeah, I think I've got it. Bro, this must be the work of that guy. That bad guy. Hmm. Yeah. I won't stand for this. We'll have to sneak into his castle and rescue Princess Peach. Let's go, bro. We're counting on you, Mario Bros. What my elite minion task force. It's time to initiate my awesome plan to invade Mushroom Castle. Today is the day that I made my beloved Princess Peach all mine. Is this before or after it's already happened? Because if it is, oh boy, we're on the wrong track. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stomp her little mustache buddies. Yeah! Your rudeness will bows as well! It's our turn! I. Some of these I can't read because they're panning in. It's... Oh, 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 oh. We're under attack. You jokers are the best. Hey, where are these hairy guys in the back? We shape around here, minions. Ugh, Mario and Luigi. How'd you get in here? Well, my front gate was open. 
How many times have I told those idiots? If you're last in, lock the gate! Quiet, you big Bowser. We know you kidnapped the Princess Peach. Now, where'd you put her? Wait, wait, what? We're only now about to launch our attack. Mario, help! Oh. Princess Peach? Black. Your princess has been taken by Count Black. You, wait. I who? By me, Count Black. The chosen executioner of the Dark Prognosticus is Count Black. The fine fellow prophesied to come to this dimension is also Count Black. I'll tell you who doesn't make him. I'll tell you who doesn't make him a little bit of sense. Count Black! Enough! Release Princess Peach right now! I'm gonna schedule over here! <laughs> Release the girl! I want her! The Count Black says never. This princess is integral to fulfilling the prophecies. And she will be brought to Castle Black and used to destroy all the worlds. By Count Black. Destroy all the worlds? Oh, that didn't work. That. Looks like it hurt. Big bro! This man deserves a cure. Weaklings, weaklings cannot face Count Black. Hey, here's the thought. You calm down and free the princess. Or else! <laughs> Your princess shall not be returned by Count Black. In fact, Bowser, evil king of the Koopas, Count Black will take you too. <laughs> well, took the entire castle with him. And that's how Luigi ended up there. Count Blake's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear, as foretold in the prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you awake? Whoa. My name is Tippy. I'm what is known as a pixel, a sort of fairy. Mario, I came to find you. I'm no enemy. You met Count Black, and you captured a princess and an evil king. Is this not so? Yeah. And that means Count Black is even now beginning to, beginning to from the void. We haven't much time. You must come with me. Yes, if your friends are to be saved, you must come. Let us go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back so soon, Tippy? And who might this be? The shirt, blue overalls, and a magnificent stash. Tippy, you have truly outdone yourself. He matches the description of the hero in the Light Prognosticus perfectly. And his name is Mario. Me? I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. You have come far from the Mushroom Kingdom t of your dimension. Of course, our fair flip side is in no dimension at all. No, it is between it is between dimensions. Read, idiot. 
My name? Merlin. I am a descendant of the ancients who created this town. I am busy myself studying musty ancient tests to forestall the end of all worlds. Ah, oh, you want to know about the end of all worlds? What's happening, you ask? So Tippy has not yet told you, I gather. Well then, Mario, the answer hangs above you. Do you see the gathering of darkness in the sky? There's a hole in the very dimensional fabric of space. Such a strange phenomenon. It is near. Is it near or far? No, no. But it may appear small now, but it will only grow. And in the end, it will swallow all existence, all the worlds, all dimensions. This void was created by our enemy, Count Blank, who wields the Dark Prognosticus. A fair and lovely princess, a furious monster king. The union of these two will call forth the Chaos Heart, the consumer of worlds. And the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky and so bring forth the void. Yes, the passage Tippy just, cro just quoted is from the Light Prognosticus of my ancestors. The book also says this, the void will swallow all. Naught can stop it, unless the one protected by the dark power is destroyed. The hero with the power of eight pure hearts will rise to this task. So it is risen. Written. Risen. This is one of the eight pure hearts. You are surely the hero spoken of in the pages of the Light Prognosticus. You are the only one who can defeat Count Black and save all worlds. Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction. I will! Excellent! You truly are the book of le the hero of the Book of Legend. My eyes never deceive. Even if I wasn't, I'd probably do it anyway. So, <clears throat> Mario, a brave hero, take this! You've got a pure heart! Your heart has been thrust into your possession. Now, great hero Mario, your first task awaits you. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar in this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to Mia when you are done with the task. This way. When up appears, press the red direction on the D-pad to examine things or talk to people. Here's the jump button. Going down? Hello, nice to meet you. This way, please. Come along. I'll talk to you uh, in a bit. Talk to all of you in a bit. Split the town and all that stuff. The heart pillar is this way. Come on, please. This way. Hey, you know anything about that weird black stuff in the sky? It looks kind of scary, but I don't know so what it is. What the fuck was that accent I just did? Hmm? You're thinking the sky? Wasn't there yesterday? Did a cloud blow up? <laughs> what am I talking about? If the cloud blew up, we'd be wet, right? By all technicalities, yes. This is the heart pillar. Now, get close and place the heart pure heart. Put my nose right up against, right up against it. I 
really hope the, the game audio is fine. Well done. Now let's return to Marlin. What is the... <laughs> Welcome to the Fortune Teller's Fortress. My name is Merlovely. Merlovely. Okay. I use the twinkling of the stars to help people find the path to happiness. If you pay just a few coins, I'll tell you the path you need to follow next. One fortune will cost you precisely five coins. I, I just started, so... She's basically... Here's what you do next. Wow, you look really silly. Where'd you come from, mister? Y you don't look any less. Hmm, this town's so peaceful. If you ask me, that's all you can really ask out of life. Here's the inn. Welcome to Tinka's Inn, where you can recharge your battery in just one night. Amazing to be sure your aches and pains will just melt away. Five coins a night. Kind of go around and introduce ourselves. I suspect this will be our main hub. Well, hello there. Is it your first time in Flipside? We don't get many visitors, so I'm ever so glad I got to meet you. Take care. Perhaps you should strike this block before we head back to Merlin. This block to save all your progress. That way, if the game ends, you can start from the last save point. You'll see these blocks all over the place. Use them whenever you see them. It's this place. Marlon L. Oh, that's Marlon's place. Okay. Ugh, I forgot the elevator was scheduled to be serviced right now. What a pain. I was going to have lunch at Saffron's place, but I guess I just have to wait now. If you think about it, there are elevators with no stairs. With no stairs. What were they thinking? This is like an item shop. Follow this guy. What are you talking about? I can't even deal with the holes in my socks. You want me to care about a sky hole? Good day. How's it? Oh yeah, good. Look you, finding how's it shop here on Flipside. First time here, eh? I gotta tell you, we offer shop points here for our regular customers. You earn shop points with every purchase. A limit to one point for every purchase. And enough and you'll win a free gift. Free stuff. For free. That's good. Want to know just how many points you've saved up? Just ask me. Got that? Or do you want to hear my spiel again? I got it. What you need? Um, nothing right now. I don't even have any coins, so I can't spend anything. I have, don't think I have anything to sell. of your return. Look, a door has appeared. This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to another pure heart. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here. Of course. 
And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. A pipe. Return pipe. Magic pipe that returns you to Flipside from afar. With this you will be able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. To use your return pipe, just go to important things on the menu screen. Just remember that in some areas, the signal from the flip side might not reach. The late prognosticus foretells that the hero will meet a dimensional a dimension governor. And from him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I'm almost certain this refers to my friend, the fire wizard Bestovius. So go through this door and seek out Bestovius. Yeah. Well, let's get going. All right. <laughs> the void has been ripped in a dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Black is pleased. All has gone as foretold in the Dark Prognosticus. Now it's just a matter of time when all worlds meet their demise. Black. Wow, that's just super, Count. Yeah, first you'll erase all these naughty worlds. And then you're gonna build a perfect world without war and all that other icky stuff. Yes, yes, no one likes icky stuff. Yes, a perfect world. Sounds magical. <laughs> I can hardly stand the weight. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, another one of these guys. What in blazing Bograts? How do I beat myself here? What's going on? <laughs> oh, oh, Chunks, you big silly. Did you oversleep or something? I guess it's kind of hard to be on time, though, when you've got the muscles as their brains. Aye! You can't fool me with that crazy shape shift in a hooligan, Mary. It's Mimi, in it? Show a respect for the count. You can't go around. You can't go borrowing his space, lass. <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Almost as dapper as Count Black. Oh, golly, thanks, Count. With you around, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Hey, now with the count. That's my idea of a perfect world. And here I thought Mimi's ideal world was a gem-filled pool with hunky lifeguards. Hey, Demenzio! Have you been reading my diary? I mean, oh, never mind. Well, different strokes for different minions. After these rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Prognosticus. Yeah, about that, just an FYI, I've got an urgent memo in your inbox. Apparently there's been some unimproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah. I'm thinking it's the Hero of Prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interloper, and possibly the Hero. Are you you're sure there's Nastasia? Interesting, mused Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. Count Black! Let me get this right in the brain. In the, brain. the hero Nastasia is going on about your enemy. Then you gotta cut me loose on him. Yeah, got her. I'll give him a nice taste of old chunks. Very well, old chunks. I'll leave you. I'll leave the hero chunking to you. Do not fail, Count Black. You can count on me, Count. I'll rain down like a fat thunderstorm, I swear it! Mimi Dementio? You should tag along. You could witness a proper chunking. Mm, I do enjoy a good chunking. Well then, I believe I'll have that as well. So, hero, you would defy Count Black. Then hurry, for your world's end draws near. <laughs> Black.
Mara was called upon once again to save the world. No small task. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off his sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin. Chapter 1 1 The Adventure Unfolds. I feel the pure heart, but still far from here. Marlon told us to find his friend Festovius to learn that dimensional technique. We'd better go find him. One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. Simply point your Wiimote at the screen and Tibby will focus on where you point. Then just press A over anything framed in red to hear more about it. Feel free to ask Tippy about anything or anyone you want. Okay. Here's a mushroom. Grab these to recover HP. Tippy. What is that? You should be able to open the door by standing in front of it. Uh, that's not quite what I was asking, but okay. Shake. Stores 10 HP and cures poison. Cool. Not an empty house. There's something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find hidden things. Why don't you use my power to look around? Ooh. There's a hidden door here. Let me make it visible for you. It's a door. Let's go inside. What is the mega this what is this mega mustache that stands before me? And how does it have the audacity to address my multicolored glory? How did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? Wait right there. Red shirt, conspicuous white gloves, jaunty cap. Hm. You're garbed in the rich court of the hero of prophecy. You must be the great hero. Impersonator. Which costume? You look like you leave out the pages of the prognosticus. No, no. This is Mario. He's dressed like this because he is the hero? Merlin told us to find you. Merlin? Only his full body to beard rivals my hairy magnificence? If Merlin thinks you're the true hero, you probably are. I think. Well then. As the ancient prophecy foretells, I, Bestovius, will bestow upon you the ancient secrets of dimensional flipping. 
for a nominal fee of 10,000 coins. Excuse? That's preposterous! You can't charge to teach the hero of the prophecy! Why not? Even the great and splendiferous Bestopius has certain expenditures. Why should the hero get, get the world delivered to him in, on a well garnished platter? These heroes think they can get away with sh shaking people down for furry skills. <laughs> a mere 10,000 coins should be nothing for a hero of the universe. What do you say? I, I don't have that kind of coin. I see. So be it. I will settle for just taking all the coins in your pocket. Do we have a deal? Sure. Scintillating. Let's begin. Flimidity, flamidity, flum. Dickity, daggity, doom. Zippity, zabity, zoom. Shaboom. Flipow. I, Bestopius, have granted you the ability to flip d between dimensions. Press A to slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. Well, what do you think? Mind-blowing, isn't it? What is this A I speak of? I assure you that if we are being watched from another dimension, and those beings will understand, but you lack the mustache for full comprehension. Breaking the fourth wall already, huh? Just remember that you can use this ability to find hidden items and secret paths. Oh, beware. Use your new ability too long and you will lose HP. Okay. So it's... Pretty much risky to use it. Wonder. Flip between 2D and 3D and get through all tricky situations and find secrets. While you're flipping, the flip gauge in the upper left will start to drop. Okay, so it doesn't... Okay. Good, I was worried it started taking health, like, just period. Flip back into 2D and load up your flip gauge again. Defeat enemies to earn points. When you earn enough points, you'll level up and increase your HP and attack power. Press start or plus, actually, to go into the menu and see how many points you need. Oh yeah, hey. that's a lot. Got a Goomba card. You collect an enemy's catch card. You boost the damage you do to it. The more cards, the better. You can boost. The more cards, the better. You can boost your power by double, triple, or more. Oh, there that goes. Yep. Yeah, I think it's gone. Flower. For low wall, flowers with coins will rain down.
Worth it. where I'm going. Ow! Press and hold two on a jump platform to jump extra high. Pills. Little pals will follow you and damage the enemy any enemy they hit. Oh. 
Okie dokie. It's a mega star. Use it to grow to mega proportions and trample your enemies. I will end the episode. We'll continue the next one. Until then, I'm signing off. Bye bye.